Hey Warriors, it's Coach Paulina here, and today I'm taking you through a beginner steel lace workout. For today's workout, we're doing four total exercises. Before we start our workout, I'm going to take you through a body weighted warm up, then we're going to learn steel lace skills for our exercises, and finally, we're going to debrief each exercise before we actually start the workout. So let's start warming up. Arms are out to a T. Let's go into internal and external rotation of your shoulders with a side bend and connecting your breath to your body. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Moving on into a lateral reach here. Let's go ahead and alternate sides. One more switch on each side here. Take it at your own pace. If you need to slow down, go ahead and do so. We're going to slowly make it up to a standing position. I 
want you to go ahead and grab your steel mace. Meet me in an under over position. We're just gonna run through your static steel mace positions and then we're gonna work on dynamic just to go over our switches so we understand um, our exercises for the workout later on. In this position, I want you to pull the steel mace apart. So, shoulders come down and back. Try and pull with your back muscles as well as your arms. This is called cross body bottom. We're gonna move into horizontal middle, making sure that your elbows are even. The steel mace comes up right below the chest. Pull apart. Cross body top, same idea. That steel mace bell is right above the shoulder. Opposite arm is right by the hip. And now slide your bottom hand up to prayer position. That steel mace bell is about eye level position and push your palms together. Let's slide your opposite hand down into cross body top, pull apart, horizontal middle, and cross body bottom. Beautiful. Those were your static landmarks. Let's go into fluid. So with each position, we're gonna pull apart and transfer right into the next landmark with your positions. Horizontal middle, cross body bottom. Let's go back, this is your last set. Nice. Good job. For your dynamic transition, go ahead and watch me first. Under, over, switch to cross body bottom. We're connecting all these landmarks now as one fluid transition here. Under, over, and pull at the bottom. Let's do three repetitions here. Good. Smooth transfer. So your bottom hand is always gonna be sliding up towards the top here. Good, last one on each side, standing nice and tall. And recover. So you're gonna see the under, over, grip and switch in our exercises, which we're gonna go over a little bit later. Let's go into our next um, technique builder, which is your uppercut. Go ahead and grab onto your steel mace with an over, over grip. We're gonna send that steel mace to your side, making sure that the bell is facing the back side of your body. From here, you're gonna bend both elbows and cross the steel mace at a cross body bottom position. From here, you're gonna upper cut the steel maze bell to the side of your body, so it ends up in a W position. Make sure that you're pushing the steel maze together and that your elbows and wrists are stacked. From here, cross body bottom, then the full extended position. Let's go over your upper cut, a little bit more fluid now. So connecting the three landmarks of the extended, cross body bottom, and W. Let's do four more repetitions together. I'm just shifting my angle so you can see me a little bit better here. There we go, that steel mace stays nice and close to your body here. Great work. Let's go ahead and practice the other side with a joust switch. So you're gonna extend your arm, grab onto it with an over, over grip, and send that steel mace bell to the back side of your body. Beautiful. From here, cross body bottom, uppercut to a W. Make sure you're standing tall and that your hips are forward. Really all that's moving is your thoracic spine along with your arms. Beautiful. Create the tension on the mace with a push together. So you're trying to push your hands together. Let's do two more. And then we'll debrief the workout. Great work, you guys. So we just went over your under over switch and your uppercut position. Your first exercise for today's circuit, we are doing switch squats. You're gonna grab onto the mace in an under over grip at horizontal middle. You're gonna drop down into a squat. As you come up, under over switch the mace to the other side for a squat. This is your under over switch squat. 
So we're gonna repeat that movement for 40 seconds. Movement number two is a battle lunge. Over, over grip, send that steel mace to your side. So if my steel mace is touching my left leg here, then that means that my right leg is gonna be lunging backwards. So always think opposites here. As I come up to center, I'm gonna uppercut into my W position and bring it back down into my reverse lunge. So this is your battle lunge. For your battle lunge, we're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg. So just switch to the other side. Battle lunge here. Consistently keeping tension on the mace. Great, your third exercise here, you're gonna grab onto the mace in an over, over grip. Making sure that your grip is even on the mace. You're gonna give me one deadlift to one row. Hinge from your hips. Keep tension on the mace. You're either pushing together or pulling apart. Row up towards the belly button. Extend the mace and stand right back up. Keeping your posture nice and neutral. Arms are active, legs are active. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds on each side. Your final exercise for today is your plank crossover. I'm gonna show this at two different angles, one from the side and then one from the front. So, you're gonna start with the steel mace splitting your body. You're gonna come into a plank position right over your mace. From here, you're gonna pull your right arm across to grab onto the steel mace on your left side. Pull and place the mace to your right side. Left arm is gonna pull the mace from your right side. It's gonna set it down on the left. So it's a consistent crossover motion, hence the name of the movement, plank crossovers. So the end of my steel mace doesn't move. It's just the bell moving from side to side. Let me show you this from our front facing, front facing view. Nice tall plank here. Pulling the mace once again from side to side in your crossover position. Keep your feet wide in your plank position. Fingertips are spread. You're really controlling the crossover by keeping your hips neutral. All right, guys. So we have four exercises. We're going to run through them three total rounds. Your battle lunge position 
is a strong position. You're rotating through your thoracic spine, keeping your hips squared forward. There we go. Five seconds. In three, two, one. Nice. Jow switch to the other side. Over, over grip. We're starting up again. In three, two, one. Let's go. Switching legs. Switching your arm position as well. 30 seconds. Exhaling on your way up. You got this, guys. In three, two, one. Beautiful. Set down that steel mace just for a moment. 10 more seconds of your recovery. Over, over grip. Deadlift to row. In three, two, one. 30 seconds each leg. Or I should say each side. Remember, nice, neutral, flat back as you're creating tension on the mace with your row. You can either offset the mace or have a more centered grip here. Here we go. In three, two, one. Setting down the mace, let's go ahead and switch positions here. I'm going to center my grip a little bit more. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Pay attention to your breathing and your form here. Good. Lengthen those hamstrings. As you hinge, come up to standing. You got this. 10 seconds, then we move on to our last exercise. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Come down into your plank position, setting down your mace. Nice and tall here. You're gonna slice that mace right in half of your body and carry over to the other side. Ready? Three, two, one. One, cross over each side here. Keep your hips nice and neutral, meaning they're not swaying from side to side. They're not coming up or down. There we go. Five seconds to go, guys. Three, two, one. Recover. Nice work. We have a 30 second recovery and then we're repeating the circuit two more times. Over, over position on the mace. 
Send the mace to your side. We're starting up again in three, two, one. Reverse lunge, coming up into your battle position. Keep your hips forward. Rotate from your mid back and hit your W position while pushing your steel mace together. Give me five seconds, team. In three, two, one. Joust switch to the other side. Give me that over, over grip. We're starting up again in three, two, one. Good, incorporate your breath with your movement. I wanna hear a big exhale as you get out of your lunge. And hit a strong W position. Three, two, one, recover. Set down your mace. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds, really just shake it out. Give me your over, over grip. We're moving on into your deadlift to row position. Three, two, one, let's go. Deadlift, push your mace together or pull your mace apart. You choose which activation feels best for your shoulders in this position. Once again, incorporating your breath with your exercise. You got this in three, two, one. You can set down your mace. We're gonna switch grip over, over to the other side. Starting up in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Repeating your deadlift to row. But now we're just offsetting the mace to the opposite side of the body. Good, push your hips back in your deadlift. Keep tension on the mace as you row. Nice. In three, two, one. Great work. Set down your mace on the ground. Your next movement is that plank crossover. Meet me in a tall plank position. Feet can be apart. Our time starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Hold the mace to one side and switch. So you're crossing over, alternating sides each time. Minimize any shifting within your hips. Nice work, everyone. Good, keep breathing.
increase your pace here. Woo, it's your final set, so we know we can push a little harder. 10 seconds. In three, two, one, set your mace down. Over, over grip, set your mace to the side. We are starting battle lunge in three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds on each leg. Drive through your front foot here. You got this. Ten seconds till we switch sides. In three, two, one. Joust switch. Send it to your other side. Ready? Three. Two, one, 30 seconds, let's go. Inhale down, exhale, battle position. You can do it, push, 10 seconds to go. Stay focused. Three, two, one. Set down your mace, shake out your grip. Over, over position, one deadlift to one row. We are starting up in three, two, one. Let's go. Row towards your belly button. Squeeze your glutes and hammies as you rise. You got this. 15 seconds to go on this side. Three, two, one. Step down your mace. Switch over sides. We're starting up again. Three, two, one. Let's go. Consistently create tension on your mace. Make light feel heavy. You can do it. Almost there. Really breathe. Help your body get through the workout. We have five seconds. In three, two, one, set your face down on the ground. We're almost done. Meet me in your tall plank. We are starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Cross over and alternate arms here. Stay focused, you're halfway there. Five seconds to go, team. Three, two, and one. Set your knees down. Whew. You guys survived today's steel maze workout. Great work, everyone.